Hey everyone, I want to make a quick video about a cool little device I've been using uh, the last little while. It's this uh, right here. It's the Emporia Energy uh, Monitor. I'll stick a picture uh, up on the video uh, right here uh, of the front of this. I'm going to leave this uh, the way I've got it uh, so that uh, I don't disturb uh, the wires and what have you. It's saved me ten dollars uh so far uh and that, that's because it's only been installed about two months uh, i expect uh, lots more savings uh, over the next little while let me just uh, show you quickly how it's uh set up and then we'll jump over to the app so all these white wires uh right here are uh, running from this this has 16 up you can plug into up to 16 of these little uh, CT sensors uh, right here. It also comes with two big ones that uh, go up to the uh, the mains in your uh, breaker panel. And uh, anyway, you just clamp them around uh, the wires. That's all there is to it. It's a little thing that this little latch right here unlatches, put it around your wire, close it, you're done. Plug the uh, corresponding plug into the, the base station and uh, and that's about it. Each one of these uh, is able to sense the current uh, in the wires and uh, it's able to, to measure what what's using electricity in real time and then it tracks it over time as well. And uh, anyway, because of this, I found a whole bunch of culprits in my house that were using power that uh, didn't need to be using power and was able to cut down substantially on uh, my power use uh, every month. The one complaint I have is these little plugs that uh, plug into the the base station here, all of these along here, all of those along the top there. Uh, they're a little persnickety. Uh, you've got to get them in and uh, and then somehow keep them in while you're juggling things and shoving wires around and stuff in here. Uh, anyway, that's the one complaint I have. They, they tend to come out uh, easily. Thankfully, it's very easy to see if they're all plugged in in the app. Uh, you can just see all the circuits uh, listed there. And if uh, one is missing uh, or two is missing, it's, it's pretty easy to see. I installed this myself. It was very easy. I'm not an electrician. Really, none of it really involves much with the wires. I did shut off uh, all the power. I went outside actually and turned off the main service disconnect uh, so that everything in here was dead. Uh, as I did it just because I didn't want to run the risk of touching something wrong and uh, electrocuting myself. So obviously uh, take the appropriate precautions if you attempt to install this uh, yourself, but uh, already it's uh, been paying me back uh, quite well. So with that, uh, let's uh, hop over to the app quick and, uh, and look at what it's been able to save me as far as power. Okay, so here we are in the app. Uh, there's a couple of different uh, settings, but this is where uh, you land uh, when the app first opens. And uh, it shows all of your different circuits, and uh, and it's by the second. So it's basically real-time information showing you, you know, what's running and, uh, and what's pulling what. So you can see um, up at the very top, our total usage is uh, 323 watts at the moment, uh, 317. Anyway, obviously it's always fluctuating. Um, and then we've got the fridge running. That's the, the biggest uh, power consumer, 95 watts. Some stuff in the office, the uh, internet routers pulling 25. Anyway, generally speaking, we're uh, pretty light at the moment, but uh, really fun to be able to review this and uh, and look at it and see it in real time uh, and find out, you know, just how much power certain appliances and uh, and certain things pull. If you change to um, minute, uh, it will update, you know, by the minute. Uh, I don't use that uh, too much personally. Uh, hourly is handy. Uh, you can see on the last hour uh, what used the most uh, power. In this case, it was the office. Um, and then if you go to, you know, daily, we can see, you know, what, uh, appliances and circuits have used the most power, uh, over the course of the day, over the course of the week, and, uh, over the course of the month. 
and uh, and then obviously a year. Now I've not owned this for a year yet. Uh, I got it at the end of December and uh, been using it uh, all of January and all of February. I used uh, the month of January to kind of survey things and uh, and see what uh, was using power. And then in for February, I had eliminated uh, some of those things and we can see those differences. And that's where the money savings have come in. So one of my favorite things here is the graph. Now this uh, graphs things uh, by the, the second at the moment. But let's look at uh, the let's look at the months here. So if we look here um, in the month of January, we can see that in the top right corner there in the light blue box, uh, we've con we consumed 489 kilowatt hours. So I went through and uh, unplugged some things and uh, eliminated uh, a few uh, loads and was a little more co uh, conscious the next month, February, and you can see that uh, we only used 408 kilowatt hours. So I lowered that by about 81 uh, kilowatt hours, which is, I think, fairly substantial for the amount of power we use each month. And uh, anyway, that in turn saved me about 10 bucks in my power bill last month. I anticipate being able to very easily continue with, you know, approximately 400 kilowatt hours per month and uh, reap that $10 savings that I had been paying to the power company and, uh, and now I'll be able to reap that savings. So, uh, really, really cool. Uh, you can track, you know, the weeks uh, that you've had it, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can track it by the day and, uh, and see your average across uh, the different days. Uh, you can even go hourly by the minute again, um, and then once again by the second. Really fun stuff. Uh, you should try one. They make different sizes. They've got one that uh, it only has eight clips on it. Then they have another one that um, has all 16. And uh, then they have one that's just the power monitor. And this is just scratching the surface of what this can do. I'm hoping to get some solar uh, installed uh, coming up here soon. This can help uh, monitor that, uh, as well as an EV uh, charger and a whole bunch of other things that uh, I don't have in my current setup, but uh, hopefully in the future uh, will. So anyway, put uh, links down in the description uh, for the two uh, options and uh, yeah, check them out and uh, try installing uh, one in your house and uh, it'll pay itself back uh, very quickly and uh, and then start putting uh, your money in your pocket every month that uh, you had been spending on electrical uh, bills <laughs> so anyway uh, if you like these kinds of videos be sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one